In previous videos, we talked about the NSX's entire system for the powertrain, and we also talked about all of the driving modes that the driver can select. In this video, we're going to talk about how some of those last components interact to actually execute the driver's commands. The Sports Hybrid All-Wheel Drive is the name for the entire powertrain system. The hybrid system has five modes, which change with various driving conditions and IDS settings. First is EV driving. This mode activates only the twin motor unit for front wheel driving. Second is engine and motor assist driving. In this mode, the rear motor starts and assists the engine for rear wheel driving. Third is engine driving. This mode uses only the engine for rear wheel driving. If there is a margin in the driving force, the engine will drive the motor to charge the high voltage battery. Fourth is engine and motor assist with twin motor unit driving. The rear motor starts and assists the engine while the TMU drives the front wheels for all wheel drive. Fifth is deceleration. In this mode, the motor converts deceleration energy to charge the high voltage battery. The sports hybrid all-wheel drive relies upon the powertrain control module to manage energy, including whether the vehicle can use idle stop slash EV start, EV driving, and the AC compressor. To make these decisions, the PCM considers a few factors, including the current integrated dynamic system mode and driving conditions. Additionally, the PCM looks at the high voltage battery's state of charge. If the SOC is above a certain value, the electric motors can assist or recharge. If the SOC is too low, the PCM restricts the motors from use. Idle stop slash EV start is also prohibited when the engine coolant temperature or high voltage battery temperature is outside a certain range. Finally, if the SOC of the high voltage battery is very low, the PCM will bow out. Instead, the battery condition monitor will prohibit normal engine startup, which involves the rear motor. A warning will appear on the multi-information display, and the driver must enter maintenance mode to start the engine and charge the battery. We do have one final concept to cover, how the engines assist and recharge. The motor power inverter oversees that. The rear motor is pretty straightforward because it is either assisting or recharging. The front motors, however, are a little more intricate. The front motors are twins, and each controls one of the front wheels. The twin motor unit generates a yaw moment between the inner and outer wheels during cornering. It achieves this by controlling the deceleration force for the inner wheel and the driving force for the outer wheel. And it then uses the electrical kinetic energy from the deceleration of the inner wheel to drive the outer wheel. Because of this constant back and forth, the TMU creates better performance and fuel efficiency, and it adapts to the tightness of the corner. This diagram provides an example. For this chart, consider that the top of each is 100% drive force, while the bottom is 100% regeneration. Essentially, the regeneration chart is inverted. For this example, the vehicle is entering a right corner. While slowing down to enter the corner, both front wheels are regenerating. As the vehicle begins to turn, the inner wheel increases its regeneration, while the outer wheel begins to use the inner wheel's energy to drive and turn. As the vehicle begins to accelerate again, the outer wheel increases its use of drive force, and the inner wheel slowly reduces its regeneration. Eventually, both wheels are driving, and the amount of drive force equals out as the vehicle goes straight. We hope you learned something about the way the NC1 Acura NSX manages power. To dive into more detail about how the other components support these actions, please check out our other videos about the EV components and the IDS modes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.